Hey Rebels, welcome back to the channel. Well, this weekend was rainy and nasty, so I am going to take the footage that I got a couple weeks ago of me riding the CRF and put those into an actual longer form video so you can kind of see what I was playing with. Um, the trailer was a ton of fun to do, but it didn't really tell you what I was doing, so this will be just more video of just me riding, honestly, <laughs> this week. Um, I'm trying to learn a lot of off-road skills. Uh, there is a trip that I'm doing in July and that I'm very excited about, and I will need those skills then. So I'm in kind of a, got my dog with me, I've got a, a short amount of time to get really good at this. So if you guys have any tips for off-roading, dirt bike riding, I'd love to hear them. <laughs> so put those below. But here's some video of me like learning how to stand on it, just getting, you know, practicing my skills for like getting around stuff. Um, just learning how to maneuver it. It's so much taller than my Rebel 1100 that uh, just maneuvering it and like backing it up and stuff was way harder than I expected. Although it's way more lightweight and it's very comfortable to ride. I really like it. Um, last weekend, my brother-in-law took it and he got to play with it for a while and he loves it. <laughs> so overall, it's going to be a great bike. Um, unfortunately though, this weekend was rainy and so I was not able to practice with it. So here's hoping for better weather on days I'm off. So please enjoy these couple of minutes of me riding my little dual sport. I want to say dirt bike, but my little dual sport. Um, and I'll see you at the end. Shit. Let's get it. ton of fun it really was like it's such a different feel than being on a cruiser um but i really enjoyed it i'm definitely looking forward to doing more of it and i'm wanting to expand my palette as it were even further so what do i do next guys do i try a mini bike or a sports bike like what should i play with next that'll be <laughs> therein lies the question uh, so let me know below, let me know any dirt biking or off-road tips and tricks, and I, uh, I'm starting to put gear together, and, but I'm also looking for, like, um, some form of saddlebag, trunk, I, I don't know, I, I need bags for this trip, because it's a longer trip, and I'm going to be packing it out. So, um, I need, I need some kind of bags. Anyway, I'll put 
maybe a picture in here of kind of what I'm looking for and then you guys can tell me about brands. There is a brand actually, um, I don't remember how to pronounce it, but this is a picture of their stuff. Highly expensive, um, but it looks really good. So do you guys, what do you, what do you think? Do you have favorite brands for, for your saddlebags for a dual sport adventure biking? Let me know. Have a great week. I will see you very soon and like and subscribe. Oh, and these are our new subscribers from our last video. So thank you so much for subscribing and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. She